Next up is the possibility to assign programs to um, whatever workspace you want. And this is done in the assign section here. So I assign the class Firefox if I start a program that has a class named Firefox. But I tell him to go to one. So one is this one. Firefox will always appear normally on this one unless I tell it to move somewhere else. But originally it will start only in workspace one. The same goes for Sublime Text. Since there are so many versions on Sublime Text, I have three lines for it. There are also many uh, distros. So this code, this config code will work on most of the distros. VLC, I told him if you want to run, you go to the seven, but if you uh, run it, you'll see it doesn't work. So fix it together. Nemo is going to start on eight and Jiri and Evolution, all the mail things. Checking your mail is going to be on nine and Spotify for me is on 10, but like I said in another movie, it's a little bit buggy or issue and we have to move it ourselves to 10. And in the end, if everything is started, I always want to have the focus that when I start the computer, Firefox is being focused. So it's active. Okay, so this is the assign section. The class maybe. How do I find out classes? There is a little program which is called xprop. And xprop is doing nothing, but there is something that changed. Look at my mouse. There is this little plus thing. And when I press a window, I get this special code. What I do now is look for the word class. And somewhere in there is the Windows Manager class string, I suppose. And this text here should be down somewhere here. It's this one. So it's figuring out the class of the window. And if the window is named sublime text with an underscore, then it's going to move it on two. I thought you, I thought that VLC didn't work. Let's try it out. So Windows D, VLC, and VLC is now opening on window one. I did tell him to go to window seven, but probably the class is not correct. So Xprop, you hover over VLC, press it and read it. So the class is a small letter VLC and not a big letter VLC. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Okay, and it is wrong. Control S, Windows Shift R, reload. And what do we see? Let's kill VLC. Let's kill Xprop. And now let's run VLC. Windows D. It should go to 7. And here you see 7 appear. And here you see VLC all full screen. Might be that I changed some things in VLC. What are good tips? Well, a next movie.